Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Working on this ideal IMAX Extra. Here's the fault code E02. Looking in the manual, it says E02, no ignition after restart. Check inlet gas pressure, check wiring to ignition slash detection electrode, check condition of ignition slash detection electrode. If above, okay, replace control module okay so we have disconnected the display the display connection taken the board off and um, we have turned power off here power off here and I'm looking inside so I'm gonna take the probes out and then I'm also gonna check my incoming gas pressure whilst the other boiler is running as well and um, yeah, I'm gonna clean up my probes. I'm gonna see if there's any spare probes. Ideally, I would like to pop the burner out, but it looks quite awkward, especially with that bolt underneath there. But if I can't get it lit after cleaning the probes and the flame detection and checking the gas pressure, I will have to take the, the burner out in order to give it a wash down. Okay, here's our probes. Gonna check the distance, the probes, and give them a clean up. Okay, I've also taken off the side panel because all that doesn't say in the instructions um, but I'm going to clean my condensate trap because I have a funny feeling that this may also cause that fault or stop the boiler from firing. Okay, so undone the condensate trap. I'm going to take it apart and give it a wash. There's a bit of residue here, a bit of muck inside. So I'm going to give it a wash through and then replenish the water. Okay, managed to clear that out and then I used the pressurization unit quick fill point to replenish it with water. There are some used probes on site. There's no spare ones, so I'm using the ones that I have um, already, making sure the gap is correct and then cleaning them up with my file. Okay, I couldn't help myself. Taking the burner out. Okay, here it is gonna give it a clean a gentle clean because remember the fabric is very delicate so I'm gonna give it a wash down may go to my van and get my brush and give inside here a brush down as well so I'm about to use my brush and clean inside here and then rinse some water for it Looks like there's still a bit of muck in there, gonna clean that. Okay, I've got those bolts in, now working on these bolts here. Remember to do like this side and then the side over there and then this side and then the side over there. And to just make sure they're all tightened um, fairly equally with equal torque. Okay, it's all back in. Earthly connected, everything tightened up. Going to fire them back up, see if it goes into lockout and do a gas pressure test. Okay, carrying out a tightness test. Just remember, before you turn anything back on, always just double check, look around, make sure everything's on, get your hand out and start touching, making sure you've done all your bolts in and everything's reconnected. It's easy to make mistakes, so just make sure everything's inside. Everything's inside, everything's tightened and so on. I'm gonna start testing now, so I'm gonna turn the boiler back on. Sequence free. Okay, we're in sequence free. Boiler is on. Let's see what kind of readings we're getting. My other boiler 
is on also. Already I can see that my working pressure is quite good with both boilers on. It's not in high rate, but yeah, we've got good working pressure there. The other boiler sounds like it's just gone off. Um, good combustion readings as well. I'm gonna test it in high and low and then do my printout. So if this boiler starts cutting out again, as it was before with the same fork code, um, it looks like as though the PCB will need changing. Okay, thank you.